Jesus name amen for the next 6 minutes we are not going to do anything except to keep reading what is there right on the screen so all of us will maintain strict and holy reverence we are in the presence of god so for the next 6 minutes we will now continue to just keep reading the word of god is powerful and the spirit of prophecy is powerful. Shall we all invite the spirit of God to speak to us, to impinge on our hearts as we embark on prayer journey. Start reading.
the next four slides will be quite swift. So please read a little fast, beginning from this. last one. We can read hundreds of quotations from Ellen White. The point is simple. You don't have to do anything in this world. If you pray, it is very dangerous. It is more powerful than any nuclear weapon of mass destruction. It is the most dangerous weapon you can ever use to harm even your enemies. Pray for them. This afternoon, we are going to very specially pray for a few things. And as you are seated right now, the very first thing that you and I will engage to pray is, we will kneel right now and ask forgiveness of all the sins that we've committed. If we have sins, God can never hear us. If I have iniquity, known sin, intentionally, and if I have not confessed it, this prayer meeting is in vain. So we're all going to kneel down for about two minutes. And the first prayer that we will offer is prayer of confession of our sins. Two minutes.
Bible says in Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 12. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. Amen. Do you know even God has amnesia? God can never remember your sins. Your own friends can pick up your sins. What happened? We're going to sing this song, the first and the last stanza. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There is power in the blood. I want all of you to have this assurance. We are sinners, but by God's grace, by His blood, we are covered. Would you be free? Come on, everyone. meeting is exclusively targeting only on one primary purpose or goal. This morning that we have been made new. Made new for what? We have been made new. Can you complete it? For what? For what are you made new? For what have you experienced regenesis? For what? That you in turn will go out and Share the good news. I'm going to show you the power of prayer. Come with me to China. Okay. Wu Lan Ying. He's 72 years old. I would like to know if there is anyone here who is 72. Not born in 1972, but 72 years. Anybody here? Okay. Let's continue this. He's just an ordinary school teacher. Listen to this. We are going to pray now. I want to show you how the power of prayer works. He always wanted to share about Jesus. So what he did was at the 72 years being a teacher, he opened his house and he said, I'm going to have some worship. What happened right after he had? One year later, he had 100 people attend. Where? Right in his house. Do you know why has God given you good jobs? Do you know why God has given you good homes? Good influence? Not for you to boast. It is to evangelize. Amen? Amen. I want you to know, 
China is a 100% communist country. I had the, yes, you're right. Not Chinatown, okay? This is the real China. I had the privilege to go to China. It was very difficult to get. Indians don't that easily get a visa to China, especially if you're a pastor. I went for preaching, but I had to go through a back door. And I was amazed looking at this guy. Indians, we are 1.2 billion. I want you to start praying with burden only for Philippines today. You are all Filipinos, majority. But if you come from other countries like us, we will pray. But today we are going to pray for the salvation of Philippines. Amen? Amen. That's what we are going to pray. Lord, give us all the Filipinos for the kingdom of God. John Knox prayed, give me Scotland or I die. You should pray. Lord, give my barangay, give my neighborhood. I want to win all this. That's what we are going to pray. What happened? Let's continue. In a communist country, a single man, 72 years old, an ordinary teacher, he didn't go to IS, he did not go to AUP, he did not waste his time reading Greek and Hebrew and become half the Bible says, whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, I will do it. In a communist country with no background of any theological discourse, he was able to baptize 800 souls in one year. Amen. What do you think is the reason? Greek, Hebrew? Throw away the Greek and the Hebrew. I hope there is no professor of mine. There is power in prayer. Let me show you another one. Continue. He was able to establish six churches, ten groups, and he trained the local. He is the first church to have 2,000 members in the whole of China. Amen. You know what he says? I only do what God wants me to do. What about women? Maybe women are thinking, can we also? I'm going to inspire all of you. Women, be ready. Let's continue here. I don't know how many of you know Zua. Do you know her? Zhuo Yuhua? She is the most powerful Seventh-day Adventist minister in China. Do you know that? I want you to know. She has planted 380 congregations. Today, in the whole of the Adventist church, she pastors the biggest Adventist church in the whole world. Amen. 20,000. Do you know the name of the guy? I should not say guy, the pastor who's got the biggest church in the world, in Korea. What's his name? Maybe I will give you a hint. He has a part of the name that I have. Paul Yonggi Cho. Let's look at this. Look at the other lady. Do you see another one, Dre? These are the two most powerful ministers in the Adventist church in the whole world. They don't fight about women's ordination. No, no. We are not talking about that. They fight only for souls. I want you to give yourself a deep thought. I'm going to give you some statistics. No, let's, let's go one, one thing before. Uh, yeah, look there. She passes the 3,000 members, Beguan Church Plus. She oversees 117 churches 7,000 members. That's the one on the left. Let's go to the next one quickly. Okay. I will give you some facts. They asked her, please tell us, what is the reason you're so successful? You have 20,000. You have 7,000. Maybe there is something powerful that we can learn. I want you to look at her exact answer. The people come to the teachings and they see our zeal and the Holy Spirit. My friends, I'm going to give you Two quotations from Ellen White. If God had taken the Holy Spirit out of the midst of the first Christian community, 95% of what they were doing would have ceased immediately. In other words, in the early New Testament times, if God took the Holy Spirit, 95% of what was happening would have come to a standstill. Let's go to the next one. Two diverse things cannot at once and the same time occupy the very same place. Your own life and the life of God cannot fill the heart at the same time. Your life hinders the entrance of the life of God. 
when your own life is cast out, the life of God will fill you. Last one. So long as I myself am something, Jesus himself cannot be everything. My life must be expelled, then the spirit of Jesus will flow in. In other words, as long as your life is something, Jesus cannot be everything. This afternoon, we are going to have a special prayer. How do you delete a file permanently from your system? How do you delete? Sometimes if you delete, it goes to the trash. Then you get it to the recycle bin, then it comes back. If you want to delete it permanently, what do you do? What are the keys you press? Shift. You don't delete in your computer? I'm very sure you delete. Please tell me, those of you who are computer gigs, how do you delete? Shift. And... Okay, it's high time you buy a computer after, <laughs> after sunset. This evening, we are going to pray for something. You know what is the greatest hindrance for prayer? You know why most of us are not accustomed to praying? Self, ego, pride. I'm going to ask the Karoro family to give one special song now. As they are singing, I want all of us to search our hearts. And as we search our hearts, we are going to ask God, Lord, cast away, cast away everything in my life which is a hindrance. And may the Spirit of Jesus, now we have confessed our sins, now we are going to ask God to remove self, to remove ego, to remove pride. Pastor Karora and family, please come forward. Let everybody focus only on Jesus. I want to read this one more time. As long as I myself am something, Jesus cannot be everything. My life must be expelled. Then the spirit of Jesus will flow in. Right now, God wants to expel your life and he wants to allow the spirit of God to flow in you. Please allow your life to be a Jordan River where it will flow. Don't be a dead sea where only you flow. You don't allow anything to flow. Cast away yourself in Jesus' name. May Jesus fill you with his spirit. Lord, I know my life is in. 